Gerald, um, we, we got an email today from Pittsburgh saying that their center, starting center for the last 23 games uh, had ankle surgery yesterday. How does that affect things a little bit? Because the guy's a, a veteran. Uh, it helps us. It helps us a lot. Uh, we, could, we could probably dominate even more because he's a he's a vet. You know, he started uh, the whole season, so um, we should go as a, uh, go keep playing and we should dominate you know, the center. As a senior, you're right, your last regular season game. How important is this to you and the other seniors? Oh, uh, it's real important. Uh, I want to go out with a bang, go out with a win. Uh, I'm just looking forward to playing my last game of Hard Rock. The other thing too is um, you guys were able to get that bowl eligibility on Saturday. How much are you guys now thinking about even improving, making sure you go to a better board than um, just a regular one? Uh, just win. Um, we're just looking forward to win. And uh, whatever, whatever God takes the team, that we, that we, that we're going to play. Uh, just hopefully we do get a better board. How much did you guys talk about what happened last year up in the I wasn't here last year, so uh, the coaches keep preaching on the old pit one. Uh, pit were on a, a great season last year for those guys. Um, we should, go, we should go out and dominate and be pit. What did they do well on defense? On offense, uh, excuse me, on offense. Uh, yeah. um, run the ball. They run the ball great. Uh, they run the ball most of the time on offense. Uh, that's what they do great, and um, we're looking forward to stopping the run when we up for the challenge again. What makes them great? Uh, the O-line, they have a great O-line. Um, probably one of the best O-lines this year that I've seen on film that's more technique-wise. Um, those guys are really good up front and we're looking, we're looking forward to the challenge. So when his center is out, what, how does that affect the O-line? Uh, it affects the O-line a lot because he's, he's like the quarterback of the O-line. Uh, he, he tells who, who has the mic and where to go where to go and stuff like that. So um, I don't know, whoever the guy replaced, I hope he's ready. Sure. What strides have you seen us to make kind of beginning the season to where he's at now as a young guy? What, what have you seen? Uh, he's more focused. He's more dedicated to what he's doing. Uh, he looked, he's starting to look up to me more and more every day. Um, he's just having more of a leadership role, telling even the younger guys that are looking up to him, to tell, telling those guys what to do also. What do you think of his future um, as, he, as a young guy, but as he continues to grow and get older? What do you think? Though? I think his future is bright. Uh, I told him, man, just keep working, man. You're making plays as a freshman. Just keep working, keep working, because your time is coming. Um, I'm going to be going next year, and you could be up next. So you got, you got to be that guy next year. Gerald, anybody can have one or two good games. You've had 11. Yes, sir. And there's a lot of people talking. There's some stuff out there about potential All-American candidate and stuff yes, like that. When you look at where you were 12 months ago versus where you are now, I know you wanted more out of this team. Yes. When you look individually at you, can you believe how much it's all changed for you in 12 months? Oh uh, yes, sir. It's, uh, it's really crazy. Sometimes I, I got to it. I think I, I just think about it, and it's just all been a dream to me. Uh, I'm just happy it's real. <laughs> so um, man, I'm just blessed to be honest. How much did you believe a year like this was possible for uh, yourself? To be honest, man, I didn't believe, man. I just, I just kept working. I just kept working, and stuff just kept coming to me. The blessings just kept coming. I just kept working, man. I'm just grateful for the opportunity. How much better can you get? Uh, real, I get a lot much better. A lot of more improvement I could do. Is this, I mean, this your freshman year, kind of. Yeah, lot really, of kind, of, kind of my freshman year, kind of ways, yes. Hey, but can you Couple say more anything questions. about uh, Manny Diaz and how important he's been to this program? About what makes him uh, a great coach? Uh, man, Diaz, he's man, he's awesome. He's uh, he like I say, him and Coach Simpson and Coach Rick, he, they changed my life in many ways. Uh, I'm just so grateful, and so thankful that Coach Manny Diaz was my defensive coordinator. Uh, he's an awesome guy. He's an amazing guy. He's a he's a, a big part of this program, and um, he's the reason why we're the uh, top defense in the nation because he called the right plays. Hey Gerald, one guy who was looked like he's really changed his season was Tito after the coming to Virginia the last yeah. few weeks. He's been playing a lot better. What do you yeah. have to say for him? Oh uh, man, Tito's great, man. Tito's gonna have a great future, a great NFL career. Um, so, uh, one of them scouts will look on film, see how, how great Tito is, how explosive he is. And I'm just so happy for Tito, how far he came. And like me and Tito, we kind of have the same story. But uh, man, I love Tito, man. That's my guy. Thank you, Jake. All right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.